John had always been a man of precision, his life a carefully crafted blueprint of success and predictability. A successful businessman in his late 50s, he'd built a reputation as a shrewd investor and respected leader. But lately, the thrill of his accomplishments had started to wane, replaced by a growing sense of restlessness. One fateful evening, while sipping a whiskey at his favorite watering hole, John locked eyes with Sophia. A free-spirited woman in her early thirties, her fiery mane and mischievous grin drawing him in like a moth to flame. The chance encounter sparked an inexplicable connection, as if the universe had conspired to shake things up. Their initial meeting was a whirlwind of laughter and easy conversation, the kind that left John feeling alive. Sophia's infectious enthusiasm and carefree nature awakened something deep within him, a desire to break free from the shackles of routine and explore the uncharted territories of life. As their encounters became more frequent, John found himself torn between his responsibilities as a husband and father and the tantalizing prospect of exploring this new connection with Sophia. The thrill of discovery was intoxicating, yet he couldn't shake the feeling that he was playing with fire. Sophia, an artist by nature, sensed the turmoil brewing beneath John's polished exterior. She saw beyond the facade of a successful businessman to the man hiding beneath, the one who longed for excitement and passion. With a gentle prodding, she encouraged him to take risks, to explore his creative side, and to rediscover the thrill of living. As their bond deepened, John's world began to expand, like a canvas unfolding its secrets. He discovered hidden talents, a knack for painting, a love for music, and a passion for cooking. The constraints of his predictable routine began to fray at the seams, allowing him to glimpse a life beyond the confines of his comfort zone. Sophia became his muse, her artistry inspiring John's own creative awakening. Together, they embarked on impromptu adventures, moonlit strolls through the city, spontaneous road trips, and cozy nights spent exploring the realms of their imagination. As the seasons passed, John's midlife crisis gave way to a newfound sense of purpose. He began to see his life as a work of art in progress, one that required experimentation, risk-taking, and a willingness to evolve. The boundaries between his professional and personal lives blurred, allowing him to merge his passions into a single harmonious whole. John's marriage, once stagnated by the predictability of their routine, began to flourish as he and his wife rediscovered each other not as two separate entities, but as co-creators in this grand adventure called life. His children too benefited from their father's reinvigorated spirit, as John became a more present, engaged parent. In the end, Sophia remained an integral part of John's journey, her free-spirited nature serving as a constant reminder to stay curious, take risks, and never lose sight of the beauty in the unknown. As he looked into her eyes, now filled with a deep affection, John knew that his midlife crisis had been a blessing in disguise, a catalyst for awakening, self-discovery, and the art of living life to its fullest. And so, our story concludes, with John embracing the unpredictable dance between love, creativity, and growth. For in the words of Sophia, life is an open-ended canvas, waiting for us to fill it with color, passion, and a dash of chaos. The morning sun filtered through the sheer curtains of John's bedroom, casting a warm glow on the room's minimalist decor. He lay in bed, staring at the ceiling, his mind a whirlpool of thoughts and emotions. The previous night's adventure with Sophia still lingered in his memory, their laughter echoing in the quiet corners of his mind. John's wife, Emily, stirred beside him. She had noticed the subtle changes in her husband over the past few months, the newfound spark in his eyes, the way he seemed more present and engaged, she couldn't deny that she enjoyed this revitalized version of John, but a part of her wondered what had triggered this transformation. Good morning, Emily murmured, her voice still heavy with sleep. Morning, John replied, turning to face her. He reached out to brush a strand of hair from her face, a gesture that felt both familiar and new. As they shared a quiet moment together, John felt a pang of guilt. He loved Emily deeply and cherished their life together, Yet, he couldn't ignore the magnetic pull he felt towards Sophia, a force that had reignited his passion for life. Determined to bridge the gap between his two worlds, John decided to share more of his newfound interests with Emily. Over breakfast, he suggested they take an art class together. 
something he'd never considered before meeting Sophia. Emily raised an eyebrow, but agreed with a smile. Why not? It could be fun. Their first art class was an exercise in vulnerability and connection. As they stood side by side at their easels, John found himself opening up to Emily in ways he hadn't before. They laughed at their initial attempts at painting and marveled at each other's progress. The experience brought them closer together, rekindling the intimacy that had been overshadowed by years of routine. Meanwhile, John's relationship with Sophia continued to evolve. She remained a constant source of inspiration and encouragement, pushing him to explore new facets of himself. Their bond was undeniable but complex, an intricate dance between friendship and something more profound. One evening, as they sat on a park bench overlooking the city skyline, Sophia turned to John with a serious expression. John, she began softly, I care about you deeply, but I don't want to be the reason you drift away from your family. John looked into her eyes, seeing both sincerity and concern reflected back at him. I know, he replied quietly. You've helped me rediscover parts of myself I didn't even know existed, but my family means everything to me. Sophia nodded understandingly. Then let's make sure this journey you're on includes them too. With renewed determination, John set out to integrate his passions into every aspect of his life, including his family dynamic. He invited Emily and their children on spontaneous outings inspired by his adventures with Sophia, weekend hikes through scenic trails, impromptu picnics under starlit skies, evenings spent cooking elaborate meals together as a family unit. As time passed by like pages turning gently in an old book filled with memories yet unwritten or forgotten until now, the ripple effect began taking hold within each member's heartstrings woven tightly around moments shared anew amidst laughter echoing softly against walls once silent but now alive again. Emily found herself embracing spontaneity alongside creativity while discovering hidden talents within herself too. Her love for photography blossomed, capturing fleeting moments forever etched onto film strips held dearly close. Their children thrived under this newfound atmosphere, where curiosity reigned supreme over mundane routines. Each day became an adventure, waiting eagerly around every corner, beckoning them forth into uncharted territories filled brimming full possibilities yet explored. And so it was that amidst chaos intertwined beautifully alongside orderliness, carefully crafted blueprints gave way, allowing space breathe freely once more. In those precious moments when dusk settled gently upon horizon, painting skies hues vibrant colors blending seamlessly together, forming masterpiece only nature could create. John realized true essence, living lay not solely achievements measured success alone, but rather embracing unpredictable dance between love, creativity, growth, intertwined, intricately woven tapestry called life itself. For indeed, as wise words spoken long ago echoed softly, reminding him always, Life is open-ended canvas waiting us fill color, passion, dash, chaos.